Struggling with a Windows security page not available error? Let's dive into the fix, focusing on solutions and quick steps. Our first stop is PowerShell. Here's how you do it. Type PowerShell into your search bar. Once you see it, right-click and select Run as Administrator. A little prompt will pop up asking for permission. Go ahead and click Yes. Now you're going to need a special command that I've left in the video description. Copy that command, set mm preference, UI lockdown zero, and then come back to PowerShell. Inside PowerShell, press Ctrl plus V to paste the command and then hit enter. This command is a quick fix for a range of issues, so it's handy to know. All right, folks, let's tackle the next step to fix the issue. Ready, here we go. This time, we're heading into the Registry Editor. Search for Registry Editor. Right-click and choose Run as Administrator. Click Yes when prompted. In the Registry Editor, we're going on a little journey. Follow along. Double-click on H key underscore local underscore machine. then Software, followed by Policies, then Microsoft, Windows, and finally, Windows Defender. Find a blank space, right-click, and choose New. Dword, 32-bit value. Name this new entry Disable anti-spyware. Double-click on it, ensure the value data is zero, and click OK. Next, right-click in the blank space again. New. Dword. 32-bit value. And this time, name it Disable real-time monitoring. Double-click, set the value to zero, and hit OK. Last one, I promise. Right click, new, dword, 32 bit value, name it allow user UI. Double click on it, but this time set the value data to one and click OK. All set? Great. You can close the registry editor now. We're almost done. The final step is to restart your PC. Just right-click on the Windows Start button and select Restart. And there you have it, two potential solutions to your problem. I hope one of them worked for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips. Thanks for watching.